and welcome to another episode of Contemporary Living with Farmer and Hill. We are so happy to be back with you again. We've been doing some exciting things. So, Andre, tell them what tell them what's been going on. I'm so, so excited. So, we we have um, recently, uh, if you've been if you've been watching our show on Comcast, we've been kind of running reruns lately. Um, so, we're back in our regular format. Um, our past shows, we're interviewing guests that were in the community. So now we're working on some new material. We got some new knowledge, some new information to give to you guys. We have some right now information. And then also we always pride ourselves on solutions. So one thing about Contemporary Living, we're going to make sure that you have some solutions. So we are excited about all the new information we have um, get gathered lately. Uh -huh. And we're going to give you guys a lot of wealth and knowledge. Absolutely. Yeah, so just to let you know before we get started, you can always continue to follow us on Comcast. We come on every Thursday night, 9 p.m. Central Standard Time on Comcast Channel 19 if you're in Chicago South Suburbs. Also, you can follow us on Facebook at Contemporary Living with Farm and Hill. We have grown our audience to over 22,000 followers and continue to grow each each and every day. So we appreciate those that follow us yes, we do. on Facebook. Thank you, thank you. Yes, and also if you want to get in contact with us, you can always reach us at farmandhill at gmail.com. And if you're on YouTube, please subscribe to our channel, Contemporary Living with Farm and Hill, as well. So we have plenty of avenues where you can contact us. Absolutely. So I'm ready to get right into this thing. All right, so here we go. First thing I want to talk about, unless you've been living under a rock or you just don't follow diet fads or the latest and greatest of what's going on, you might not know about keto. Well, Andre and I have been doing keto for about, how long have we been doing keto? Uh, probably about four weeks now. About four weeks. So four weeks. I am down 10 pounds and Andre's down, how much are you down? 13. 13, come yes. on. Yes. This is all without exercise. So I wanted this to bring exercise. this. This is without yeah, exercise. Without exercise. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, no exercise. Yeah, no exercise. She loves to work out. Well, I I'm going to do that it. anyway. Yeah, but. she going to work out. Yeah. But yeah. But I wanted to bring this to you keto made easy because a lot of people think it's difficult and it is not. But before you do any diet or anything that involves your health, I want to highly encourage you to go see your doctor because I am not a doctor. So, right. But I do want to talk about keto made easy just to show you how easy it is. So first I want to talk about what is keto. So there's the definition. It's a way to convert fat into energy instead of primarily using sugar or carbs. So what does that mean? So right now, if you eat pastas, if you eat bread, if you eat all of those types of things, your body is using that to, to give you energy so you can go throughout your day. And so what happens with that, it doesn't burn as fast as if you were on the keto diet. So keto is a faster way to burn fat. Really, keto is fat burning. It's a faster way to burn fat actually off your body because it's not using sugar and carbs. So that's what keto is, fat burning. All right, okay. <laughs> All right, so let's talk about what's in a keto, what's in a keto diet. So basically a keto diet consists of proteins, which are meat, vegetables, which we all should love, and then fats, including nuts, including coconut oil, butter, cheese, all of, all of those things you can use in a keto diet. What I wanna show you is my daily plate. So you see there's no bread, there's no lasagna, there's nothing that has any carbs in it. So now I, use, I eat about 45% vegetables, as you can see on my plate, 35% protein and then 20% fat and that's all it is it's just starving your body of carbs that's really all it is yeah I guess eventually you know your body adjusts you get used to it right because I believe my my second day I come right in here looking for sugar yeah yeah <laughs> and she's like no nah, man you can't have no sugar so right. yeah so I, I toughed it out but now my body's kind of used to it now absolutely and your body yeah your body just gets used to it you don't even desire those things that you had cravings for yeah. and things like that so we don't even have those types of cravings anymore because our body is getting exactly what it needs so let's jump right into it. We're gonna talk about the keto do's and keto don'ts. And I wanna keep this really simple just to show you how easy it is. First, let's talk about the keto do's. You know what? It's just like any other person that's trying to get healthy. Eat those le leafy greens. That's important, greens, greens, greens. You need to increase your C intake. So eat 
eating nuts, you know, like almonds or macadamia nuts or walnuts, those things are fantastic. You want to eliminate sugar. I'm telling you guys, once you eliminate sugar out of your diet, your life changes with more energy and everything else. Here, I said it again, add nuts to your diet. So I've already talked about the walnuts, the macadamia nuts. Eat lean protein. You want the chicken, you want the steak, you want all of those meats, you even fish, that's fine. Cook with high fat oils. You want some coconut oil, you want some sesame seed oil, you want some olive oils. Those are the types of high fat oils you want to use. You want to stick to water, coffee, occasionally a diet soda if you're a soda drinker, and also use the crystal lights, the little lemonade packs and things like that. But initially we just, well, he doesn't drink coffee, but you can have like a, a tea or water. That's what we uh, use initially. And then we started to incorporate those other things into our diets, like an occasional diet soda. And then sometimes the crystal light. Yeah. Lemonade, they have different flavors. Yeah, we like the Crystal Light. Right. Yeah, crystal Light's pretty good. So. And with anything, you want to increase your water intake. It, it's funny how, you know, a lot of times when we think we're hungry, we're not really hungry. We're really dehydrated. You really need some water in your system. So you want to increase your water intake. You want to eat berried fruit. So we're not into bananas. Why? Because they have sugar. We're not into pineapples. Why? Because they have sugar. And we're not saying all of those. Those things aren't bad. Don't get me wrong. But we're talking about the keto diet. So that's what we want to focus on. But we eat berry fruit like raspberries, blackberries, blueberries, strawberries, those things with berries in them. And then, you know what? There's no way you can starve your body completely of zero carbs. So what you want to do is stay within a 25 to 50 carb intake a day. And if you want to know how many carbs, just look on the back. So those are the keto do's. The keto don'ts. Now you see that pasta on the side of that keto don't, so you shouldn't be having that. But what you don't want to do are eat high carb vegetables. Right. You want to stay away from the carrots and you know some of those types of vegetables. You don't. You want to stay away from eating sugary fruit. I already talked about the pineapples and things like that. You want to not buy grain or box products. We don't have any rice. We don't have any or any box products in our kitchen now. You definitely don't want to eat carbs like the chips and things like that. But I tell you, even though you might be having a craving now, once you go to keto, you won't even have that craving. You don't want to consume sugar. No sugar, no sugar, no sugar. And you also don't want to drink high calorie sugar drinks like the sodas and, uh, you know, the sugary drinks that are supposed to be healthy for you, the Gatorades and stuff like that. Yeah. And then you don't want to become keto police. What you don't want to do is be so demanding on yourself that you give up. You make a mistake, start again. Make a mistake, start again. No one's perfect on this earth. All right. So those are the keto do's and don'ts. And I know you see up there, don't eat lean protein. That should not be there. We want you to eat as much lean protein as you can. Now, you know what? It's not all bad. If, if you're thinking, oh, this is just going to be too much. There are keto friendly snacks. Guess what? Steak, like I said, keto love, the keto diet, some good steak is always good. You want to have some olives, that's fine. You know, if you crave chips, you can eat those pork rinds. Those things are good. Those things are good for the keto diet and guacamole, that's fine. You can have some veggies like your, your uh, broccolis, your peppers and cucumbers and things like that with a little bit of ranch. And then you want eat, eat cheese stick. And then the, the meat and cheese snack packs are very good to have also. So there are keto friendly snacks out there that you can enjoy. So let's talk about the benefits of a ketogenic diet. Reduce inflammation, improve fat burning, mental clarity and sharpness. I did discover I have a lot more mental clarity and sharpness now that I'm on using eating the keto way. Abundant energy, definitely abundant energy, clears your skin, reduces cravings. We've already talked about talked about that. The mitochondrial biogenesis, that helps with energy and cellular regeneration and things like that. Anti-aging effects, and then reduce the risk of chronic diseases. So this is, this is a, a diet that your body is used to. So guess what? For you alcohol drinkers, because oh, most diets, now look, Andre, most diets say you cannot have alcohol on the 
on on their diets but here in the keto you can they keto friendly alcohols are vodka tequila gin rum scotch brandy cognac Bud Light, Coors Light, Miller's Light, all of those things in my favorite area, the reds and the white wines, yes. the Cabernets, the Pinots, Noir, Grigio, the Chardonnays, and the Champagne. You want to avoid those sugary mixed drinks, anything with juices and add-ons, syrups in them, or the sweet wines. Now, I'm, I love Moscato, but I had to give it up. Sangria, I love, but I had to give it up. Zen, I love, but I had to give it up. So, but it is a good lifestyle to have, and it doesn't take that long to get used to that lifestyle. So, definitely, 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 if you want to try a diet and you want to lose weight fast, you want to you want to try that keto diet. So, the next episode, we're going to talk about the keto flu, the keto fast food, and the different types of keto, the strict lazy and dirty keto diets and if you're you're interested in getting some simple meals join go to our facebook page contemporary living with farmer and hill and join farmer and hill conversations and you can get some some simple menus and that's all i have for the keto wow. it's it's working well for us so far that's some excellent info excellent info <laughs> Thank wow you. well let's move on so i'm going to talk about how to save in today's economy. Mm -hmm. So people want to know how can they save money in today's economy. So two of the first things you want to do. First of all, you want to gain control of your budget. So when you gain control of your budget, you need to sit down with a plan to find out where each and every dollar is going. And then you want to then you also want to cook. Now one of the things that we're guilty of and we sat down and looked at our finances and I'm ashamed to say that we spend a lot of money <laughs> on eating now. We have a busy life because, you know, I'm out there, I do real estate, I'm out and about, then my wife, she she started back working now, mm -hmm. and, you know, we have a pretty busy life, but that's still no excuse for you not being able to budget your money. So one of the things that you want to do is also meal prep. So you want to make sure that you meal prep your food, that you can cook, like, on what we did on Sundays. Right. Yeah, so sometimes right. on Sundays, we'll meal prep for the week. Honestly, it may be a little bit time consuming, but if you can get it done through the week, I'm telling you, well, on that Sunday, your, the rest of your week is going to run Absolutely. smoothly and you're going to save money. So meal prep. Also, a lot of you guys heard of Groupon. Now, Groupon, they provide you with a whole bunch of discounts, huge discounts and savings on travel and vacation. You get discounts on concerts. You get discounts on sporting events, restaurants, car rentals and flights, household products. I'm telling you, you could save a lot of money on Groupon. Right. So, you know, me and Melissa, a lot of times when we go out, we, we use Groupon. We do. Yeah. We do. And also, don't forget, on every Tuesday, most theaters have $5 movies. $5 Tuesdays, we love movies. We are movie fanatics. We are movie critics. We swept <laughs> down with Gene right. Sisko and right. Robert Ebert. And if you tell us otherwise, we're going to be mad at you. <laughs> so, right, right. Yeah, so we definitely love our movies. So $5 Tuesdays is a good way to save money. Mm -hmm. And then we go to Imagine Theater in Frankfurt, Illinois. And on Tuesdays, they also give you free popcorn. So you also be able to save a little bit of money as well. Also... Yes, they are still around drive-in theaters. Drive-in! Yeah, so our, our drive-in, normally we go to Valparaiso, Indiana. That's our drive-in spot. They normally open from April to the end of October. And we normally go once a month. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, the drive-in is $10 per person. But guess what? You can take your own food if you want to. And then also, you can also get um, two movies as well for $10. As we move on, restaurants.com. Restaurant.com, they give you discounted gift certificates. So we like that site as mm -hmm. well. Mm -hmm. Also, couponing. You can make money doing couponing. So you, not only do you save money, but you also can get a discounts on a lot of your stuff. And you also can get a lot of free stuff with couponing. And if you ever go to restaurants, when you look on the back of your receipt, like you see to the right of the screen, you see McDonald's. You ever go to McDonald's, sometimes they offer you a free medium fry or a salad if you purchase a small drink. So remember that there. You want to save money. That's how you're going to save money in today's economy. Um, also, they got coupon apps you can also also download, which can save you tons of money. Technology has made our lives easy. Absolutely. So you don't have to go buy the Sun Times or the New York Times <laughs> or anything like that if you don't want to. But you can always download those apps. 
Also, if you want a lot of times, what you want to do is shop out of season. Mm -hmm. So guess what? Right now is a good time to buy, buy outdoor summer furniture, patio furniture for next year. Or summer clothes. Or summer clothes, <laughs> yeah. And then even after the holidays, even after the holidays, that's when you want to do your Christmas shopping for ours, your Christmas tree, your lights and stuff like that, because you're going to get a discount on that. Also, they have an app you can download called Task Rabbit. Now, what Task Rabbit is, it helps you save money um, on, say, for instance, somebody needed, if you needed your furnace fix or your water heater. Well, you go to Task Rabbit and you can find individuals in your neighborhood and in your community that, that will come fix your house up or come do any type of repairs around your house at a discounted price. You know, because most places you're going to pay a large, large fee. And that's good for seniors, too, because lots of, lots of times they need these little odds and ends where you can't hire a contractor to come yeah. do those things. So you could hire a task rabbit to come and just kind of help them out. If yeah. You need it. yeah. And even if you have a small business, this would be a great mm -hmm. place oh, to advertise, a, advertise yeah. your business. Mm -hmm. If you're a maintenance guy, if you're a guy to do assembling or anything like that, you probably want to advertise on task rabbit as well. Mm -hmm. Moving forward. Now this one here is a new one I learned about, it's called Hopper. This here gives you discounted tickets on flights. Yes, discounted tickets on flights, it's kind of tell you when to purchase, it's going to let you know if the price of the tickets are going to go up or go down or anything like that. So Hopper is a nice, nice tool for you to download to your phone if you're a person that likes to travel like me and Melissa do. Mm -hmm. And for my military veterans, we don't never forget about you guys. My wife served 20 years in the military and the army, and we appreciate her service. But Vacation Heroes is actually a great place you can you can book your trip. Right. Now, the good thing about Vacation Heroes, you pay about three hundred and fifty dollars mm -hmm. for seven days. Mm -hmm. We actually going to use this this week. It's seven days, and we get ready to go on vacation, and we get what, two bedrooms and a kitchen. Mm -hmm. and two bathrooms so vacation heroes and then as we get ready to wind down here we talk about comment if you want to save money on electricity go to comment and comment will definitely um, come out to your house they'll make an assessment of your house a free assessment of course and then you can change they come in they change out your light bulbs they inspect your furnace they inspect your AC unit they inspect your attic and they all they want to make sure that you are saving money and they also have a recycle program if you want to get rid of your old refrigerators as well and if you want to you always have the option of getting the smart thermostat which will cost you but the smart thermostat also helps you save on your utilities and for me and Melissa, we had this recently done. It gave, gave us a $250 saving. Awesome. And actually, I just opened up the light bill today, and we went from paying like $135 to $65 now. There you go. All right. So there we have it. All right. So we're going to jump right into personal finance for a busy life. Andre has already talked about how busy we are. And I'm sure you're just as busy as we are. But this is personal finance for a busy life. So today, I want to talk about ACORN. You may or may not have heard about it, but Acorns is really an app that you can use. It's on your phone, you download it, and it's a way that you can start to invest very quickly and easily. But first I wanna give some sobering facts before we go into Acorn. Less than 62% of Americans have $1,000 in their savings account. That's over half of the adult Americans in this country have less than $1,000 in their savings account. 21% of Americans don't even have a savings account. They don't even have one. 70% of people with credit card debt in America can't even pay it off in a year. 64% of Americans aren't prepared for retirement and won't retire comfortably. And U.S. adults perform poorly when quizzed about basic financial concepts. Those are some, some really sobering facts. And we really have to get literate when it comes to fi our finances. We can't just live off credit, 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 and things like that. We really have to know what's going on. And that's one of the reasons why Andre, you know, he talked about having a budget and knowing where your money is and then went into all of the types of savings that you can have because we want you to have some substance that you can go right after this episode and start to use. And that's why I want to talk about Acorns. Now, Acorns, it gives you a whole lot 
for just a little and that's a dollar a month and this is for someone who hasn't you know they're they're kind of afraid to get into investing they don't know what it looks like and things like that and the reason i like it so well and we both have acorns and we use it is because because the way you can you can automate your investing they use a system called the roundup system so basically you make a purchase for two dollars and fifty cents what acorns will do is round it up to three dollars so they'll take that 50 cent and invest it on your behalf. So you're not you're not investing a whole lot of money. You're investing the acorns because acorns turn into oak trees. So it's an automated way to invest and it's a great way to invest. They also, now if you really want to get into this, they have it linked with ultimate cards. So you can link as many debit or credit cards as you like for Roundup. You can do an, you can do debit cards, credit cards, checking accounts, you know, all, yeah. all types of accounts can be linked up so that you can round up and you can invest more. But you, it's okay that if you just want to have one. They also have found money. So what they try to do is go out and find brands like Amazon, like Levi's, like Macy's, different brands that will go ahead and invest on your behalf. So if you spend money at a, at a particular store, they'll invest 1% or one and a half percent of what you have spent on your behalf. So that's a good thing. You know, they have Nobel Prize winning economists that develop that have developed these portfolios and you can choose the type of investing if you want high risk if you want low risk if you want a medium risk they ask you all these questions in the beginning so you can decide how you want to invest your acorns your your roundup money transfer at any time you can invest and withdraw whenever you want without any hassles which is a great thing especially when you link it uh, when you link that to, they also have a, a, you can open up a checking account. They have so many different things that you can do. You can transfer money at any time and it's no hassle. They also have a magazine. So when you actually download that app and you start investing, they'll show you where every penny is going and they want to educate you, give you some knowledge on your personal finances. Now, if you're, if you're, if you have a deep knowledge about investing, this might, might not be for you. But for that person that's just starting out for that, you know, and you want to start investing, you want to test it and see how it is, this is great. So I recommend you download a, uh, the Acorn app and start using it today. All right. Yeah. There we have it. And then we want to talk about our South Suburban Wine Tour that we just recently went on. Mm-hmm, absolutely. Yeah, so me and Melissa, you know, we um, have our own wine tasting tour business. We have a, a tourism business, actually, and we service the um, Chicago South suburbs. And we just had a couple of wine tasting tours. We gave it a drive run about, about um, a few weeks ago, and I tell you, it was a success. Absolutely. We had we had the best time. So the, the name of the tour is Women Who Wine, and if you ever been to North Utica or you ever heard about North Utica, you're probably familiar with the Starved Rock area. So we know that many people, <coughs> excuse me, many people when they when they do wine tours in Illinois, they always go to Michigan. Yeah. <coughs> well, Utica, Illinois has some great wineries. We visited three. We visited four actually. Uh, August Hill. We visited. <laughs> and that's so funny because we know Pam and Steve, they're the owners, right, right. they're the owners of the, uh, the antique, it's the antique winery. We'll have it, if you go to our Facebook page, we'll have it listed. But we took a small no. group of women. We're going to look it up now. We're going to look it up right yeah, now. Because, yeah. Pam and Steve, we know we just forgot the names because they actually own two of the four places that we go to. But <laughs> we had about 13 women. We did 21 pours, we did lunch, we did snacks, we had girl talk on the bus, we had our wonderful driver, Andre. We just that had a me. really good time. And North Utica, we leave from the south suburbs, Richmond Park, where we're located, and we leave from there, and it's about an hour and 20 minutes to uh, to the wineries that we visit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so actually it's Clark's Run Creek. There it is. Yes, yeah, Clark's, Clark's Run, Run Creek. And these pictures are out in front of uh, Clark's Run Creek and Clark's uh, Antique.
antiques and wine. Yeah, so, so they get about what, right. 20 pourings? It's 21 points. 21 yeah. points, yeah. So it's great. So look on our, stay, that's why you got to stay in tune with us on our Facebook page so you'll have the information you need to check out the next time we'll go. Well, we're closed for winter, but spring, more more to come. Yeah, so we definitely um, looking forward to, to the um, next year winery. We're going to mm -hmm. keep you guys informed. I'm telling you, it's going to be a lot of fun. It is. It is. Yeah, I can't so, wait. Yeah, so I think um, people will enjoy it. It's, yeah. it's, it's bringing something new to the south suburbs. Right. Um, you don't have to worry about going to Chicago. Mm -hmm. um, it, it's, it's local, and it, it's something new, you know. And one thing about it, we wanted to provide something that was needed. Yeah. Um, and we felt that it was needed in the south suburbs to bring mm -hmm. tourism here. Right. Where people didn't have to go um, take the drive to Chicago or anything mm -hmm. like that there. Right. So I think you guys are really going to love it, especially going into next year. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so, definitely. Yeah. So, we, we, you know, as always, we thank everybody for, t for tuning in to Contemporary Living. Uh, we appreciate our followers, the people that come out and support us. You know, we actually definitely. get ready to work some workshops as well. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So we do have some uh, workshops that's coming up. That's Go to our in. Facebook page. Yeah, so we do have some, some workshops that's coming up. Um, and we're going to be te teaching people how to start a business and how to grow their business and stuff like that. Absolutely. Which is needed. You know, we talked about it earlier. Most people think they just need an EIN number and they get a business name and they feel that they're ready to go, ready to take some on the world. Some people don't even get that. Yeah, and you some people don't even get that. You think you got a good idea, you had a couple of sales, and oh, yeah, I can start this up in a business. Yeah. But it takes research. It takes commitment and dedication. And some of you already know that. But for those of you that are just getting started, you want to you wanna definitely stay stay with us. Yeah, and it, it takes time, man, you know, to, to build a business. And you definitely, um, you, you just don't want to have a business, but you want your business to grow. You want to thrive. And hopefully you put yourself in a position where you can leave your business behind for your, your kids' kids and, and, and your family and your loved ones right. and stuff like that there. So, yeah, so we just, we just doing some great things in the community. And enjoying uh, life. Yeah, and Melissa, she's working on uh, the nonprofit as well. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, so she's more to come on that. Yeah, so she's working on the nonprofit. You know, pretty much that's catering to uh, military veterans. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that, that's a good thing as well. So we love our veterans. We love those that you know have served, and you know that continue to put their life on the line, so that we can provide a platform for you guys each and every Absolutely. week. Absolutely. So we appreciate that. So there we have it. There we, as always, we appreciate mm -hmm. everybody from tuning in. And as we get ready to close out, as always, we thank God for his unmerited, undeserved favor called grace. For grace is the total absence of any works. You can't buy grace. You can't sell it. You can't tarry for it. It is simply what God has given to each and every one of us because we believe that Christ died for our sins. He was buried and he rose again the third day for our justification. Mm -hmm. On behalf of myself and Melissa and contemporary living, be blessed. Bye-bye.